Hello guys. Um, right today I'm going to be uh, doing a feeding video. Um, some of them might be being fed either due to not long being uh, what molting, and uh, I've got someone coming around to show his son my tarantulas. One of my mates showing his son my tarantulas, and uh, I thought thought that it'd be uh, well, it'd be good at, if they could see uh, one of them feed. So I won't be feeding the big um, tea stir me. Obviously that one's the biggest in my collection, so I thought that would be the best one to uh, save for the weekend. Okay, right, let's get this started. Um, this is my uh, Grammar Stola Rosa Red Colour Form Spiderling that molted uh, just over a week ago. You can see it just there. Put it in a new enclosure because, well, it's molting quite a bit. Now, so uh, let's see if this will take a cricket. There you go. Let's just turn that a bit. That's good. It's obviously uh, not so hungry. When I first got this one here, I had to pre-kill the crickets for it because it wasn't very... Uh, it was, I, I don't know, it just it seemed a bit, be a bit shy. I thought it was a bit too small anyway, so... Uh, yeah, right there. that's a good start to it. Okay, on to the next. This one is my um, Brachyperma Amelia Spiderling. Uh, oh, there she is, you can just see her there. Let's see if she'll take a cricket. Second, oh no, here it comes. I don't know, I just think he's going to be a bit shy today. She's just quite good at her takedowns. I think she's a bit shy today. Either that or she could be going, uh, going pretty much hard for me to tell when they're this size. Okay. Uh, on with the next. In here we have my Ceratogyrus uh, Marshali spiderling. It's just down that hole there, you probably won't be able to see. Very good at it. You can see him moving about. It's got the cricket, you can just see it, and you can just about see it down there in that hole. I see the cricket anyway, but yeah, it's cool it. Okay, on with the next one. In here I have my Pelanobius muticus spiderling, the uh, King Baboon tarantula. I don't know if it will uh, come out of his little hide, but this one's pretty good at takedowns. Oh, it's just down that hole. 
because it's straight on top of it. There, but I'm gonna guide the cricket back to the air. Uh, I don't know if I can see his legs poking through the hole. Yep. Oh. Be able to see this one. Let's put the lid back on just in case the uh, cricket decides to try and escape. No crickets there. Um, just there, you should be able to see it is the spiderling. Uh, cricket just run around in the uh, container so I'll leave this one for now and here's my Pocalosteria fasciata uh, you can't really see because this container is actually pretty bad really I'm gonna once this one molts out I'm gonna get in one of the uh, exoterra glass terrariums but he's actually just down there at the bottom of the bark I've stopped using crickets um, because they keep dying off too quick, so I've been using, I'm going to start using mealworms. Oh, no, he's going the wrong way. No, it's, damn it. it's this one wasn't so bloody evil, so it'd be easier to sort things out. In this container's crap. Might get the exoterra a bit soon, it might be a bit big for him, but I hate these containers. They scare the shit out of the spiders. Just taking the lid off, so I'm getting something better, shame. Okay. Uh, well, you can see the mealworm there. I don't know if he's ever going to work out where it is, but. Okay, on with the next. Right in here, we've got my. Avicularia avicularia, the uh, one that molted um, last week. There he is. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, but. God, I can you see the green on this one. Well, I can anyway, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna. Up, but see if I can. No, I can't see it. Uh, yeah, I think it's due a feed, so I'll try and mill one with this one. Okay. 
he's got a beer who hasn't eaten in over a month, so. This isn't going so well now, is it? That's a shame. He usually packs a bit of a punch when he's hungry. Okay. Alright. I'll drop that one into his net. Or into his web. one. Here's my Brachypelma and Gustum. Just there. See if, see if he'll take a mealworm. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. You don't seem to want to eat mealworms. Oh, oh does he? This just one's a, just a bit skittish. So. There we go. Yeah, this one's a bit skittish, but yeah, very still does does hard enough to handle. As long as he's eating, so all right. Uh, that's a little better. Get spooked by everything. This one. Very careful. Okay. On with the next. And here's my Afonapana Pace Sony. Um, this one's a very. Well, I think it was only eaten two crickets in the four or five months I've been there, so. Let's see if she'll do any better with. Uh, I think she's gonna take it, she's uh, a bit moody. Yeah. Drop that back in there. No, I think she's going into pre molt. That one's getting a bit darker and she looks like she'd be due with a molt. Oh well. I just have to wait until she molts out or. Because I know these are slow to. Grow and stuff, so we'll just leave her be. On to the next. And here's my Vicularia species, Peru Purple. Um, you can just see her hiding there. I'm gonna. There we go. Look at that. At least she uh, took her food. That's the problem with them. P. Uh, Metallicas, they tend to, um, well, they, they don't like the light, so you drop your, you've got their, I dropped his food, uh, her food in there, shall I say now, and, uh, well, it, it's borrowed, I 
I can't get in there now because she's in the way. Oh well, she'll have to do a bit of work to get to it, but... Uh, at least this one's well, it's got a huge web inside she can uh, she can just feel it wherever it lands and doesn't run away from it so uh, yeah there we go first time you, uh, f f well first time a tarantula taking a Mario worm as you can see she's standing well you can't really see from here but She's actually uh, standing high up so that you can't get uh, the actual Mario Run can't get to her. So, uh, yeah. At least she caught her food. I'll keep checking on on the dead leaves just so that. Just to make sure that she does actually eat it. That it doesn't sit in there for ages because I hate that enclosure anyway. It's too small. It's not good. Don't, don't like that enclosure. This one, I like this one. I think it's come out quite, quite well because she just sits at the top all the time. No, that one's got no no room. It's a bit broken, I wonder why I gave it away. Uh, anywho, uh, I'll see if I can feed uh, probably just one more. Right. And here we we have my uh, Aiden's end of me. I can never pronounce the first name, so I'm gonna not bother saying it because it's no point. Um, the golden baboon, like juvenile. So uh, just see her there. I'll drop in a cricket. Oh, she wants it. I don't know if she got it though. She's going for it wherever it is. on charge but uh, yeah there she is I'm gonna go for the cricket but because she's quite fast I'm just gonna put the top back on don't want her escaping but, uh, yeah it's a shame about the P metallic and not eating usually that one's quite good but it sits it it's just a shame they're a bit spooked by the light now I've got to keep checking to see if I can get the um, Mario worm back, but hey ho, that's one of the problems when you've got something that's scared shitless of the light. It doesn't usually hide away that often, so uh, I'll leave it, leave it until I finish work or whatever, and I'll come home and check, see if I can find it. Otherwise, I uh, oh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and goodbye.